Welcome to Bangkok. This beautiful city located in Thailand is known for its palaces, Buddhist temples, skyscrapers, and food, making it the street food capital of the world. Today, Florence and I will be exploring the city with two goals in mind. Number one, visiting as many sites as possible with the limited time that we have, and number two, track down Bangkok's 73-year-old Michelin star chef, J5. You'll learn more about her later and her incredible life story, but for now, there is a lot to do, so let's get started. Today we are exploring Bangkok. We have a whole list of things that we're doing from visiting temples to a Michelin chef and I'm very, very excited. We're gonna take the train into the city. We took it yesterday from the airport all the way to where we're staying and it probably took us about an hour. I think it was $2 per person, so that's not bad. Noted. Getting a train here is so much easier than I thought it would be given I do have Florence with me who's like a professional trained person because she's from the UK. Basically, you just go up to these machines, tap where you want to go, put the money in, and they give you these little token things. We made it to our stop, and apparently it's a six minute walk from here. The train had the best air conditioning in the world. Hey, guess what day it is? Friday? Leg day. <laughs> Skipping leg day, are we? <laughs> this is gorgeous. Mm. We want to go here? Yeah. And we want to go to. Let's get a ferry. That is something. That. Yes? But now where you go? What for? What for? What for? Yeah, yeah. What for over there? Okay. But now you know, Mang Sale Muni. No. What for? What for girl? You know, Mang Sale Muni. Well, we can just walk by. It's fine. It's okay. Thank you. Let's go. I don't really know what just happened, but. Nice to meet you too. A lot of times in temples you have to cover your shoulders and wear something that covers your knees. So today we've got just some long pants on and then these sarongs over our shoulders. That's why we're covered up, if you were wondering. <laughs> I'm reading right now some history on Wat Pho and it says that the temple is in fact older than Bangkok itself which is kind of crazy. The entrance fee is 200 baht, which is about six US dollars, which is not too bad. Everywhere else has been quite more expensive. This is absolutely unreal. There's a lot of these pictures that you see on Google and stuff of temples, but if you look closely, the design on each one of these is actually crazy. <laughs> Wat Pho is the oldest temple in Bangkok and it has the biggest Buddha in all of Thailand, which is really cool. We haven't seen the Buddha yet, but I think we're about to. <laughs> Before you enter a temple or a religious place, that you always should take your shoes off. They really don't wear shoes indoors at all here, which personally I think is really cool and I really like because I do that at home. <laughs> Look at those feet. Wow. Absolutely wild. Now I'm starving. I'm gonna go make a peanut butter sandwich. I'm gonna say peanut butter, banana, peanut butter, jelly, but all of that's peanut butter. Refuel, and then we're on to the next destination. This woman was wearing a skirt that they give to you, like if you don't have anything to cover up, and Florence just complimented her, and she's embarrassed. But you know what's even more embarrassing? The fact that I have an entire loaf of sourdough bread and some peanut butter and I'm about to make a sandwich. Is this even allowed? This is my biggest life hack on one, how to save money, and two, how to heal your body from food poisoning. Oh, 
It's been real. <laughs> We're on to the next place now. We've got some uh, some fun things planned for tonight, so stick around for that. <laughs> so it costs five baht to get from here to the other side across the canal over to Wat Arun. That is where we're headed now. It is so hot out today. <laughs> so it's 100 baht to get into Wat Arun. That includes free bottle of water. You can never go wrong with water. We're in the front of it right now. It is so big. We took a few pictures, but it's just really hot out. Honestly, it's so hot. Vlog reception. Wow. Guys, it's huge. Influencers. Here's my hot take. We haven't been to the Grand Palace, so what I'm saying doesn't weigh much. But I think that if you visit Wat Pho, which is probably pronounced Wat Po, we realize because they don't pronounce PH as Pho here. I don't think you need to go to all three temples. I really don't. We're back on the boat right now, and I'm so excited because we're heading to J Faye's restaurant. I'm so excited. I just watched the Netflix documentary, The Street Food one, before coming here, and I was like, oh, that'd be super cool to go see her, and she's literally a mile down the road. I'll give you more history on her later. Basically, she's a 73 year old chef, Michelin chef. <laughs> Fai was born in 1945 to Chinese immigrant parents who sold chicken noodles for a living. However, she wasn't really that good at cooking and ended up learning from her younger sister. Jay Fai worked as a seamstress for several years until she lost everything in a fire which prompted her to turn to cooking when she was in her 30s. She opened her restaurant in the 1980s and began building on her mother's recipes. Jay Fai herself works six days a week as the restaurant's sole chef wearing ski goggles while she cooks. One of her more famous dishes is a crab meat omelet which costs upwards of a thousand baht, which is over 30 US dollars. The restaurant has been famous among food enthusiasts for decades. In a 1999 review, Bangkok Post food critic Ung Nang Tele, Bob Holiday, described her as one of those increasingly rare Mozarts of the noodle pan who can transform very ordinary lunchtime at the market dishes into masterpieces of local cuisine. And Martha Stewart called Jay Fai the best cook in Thailand. She was featured on the Netflix TV series Street Food, where many of her famous dishes were introduced, such as tom yum soup, dry tom yum, and of course, the crab omelet. Jay Fai, who has never written down a recipe in her lifetime, received her Michelin star in 2018. And that brings us to today, where we have the honor of seeing this incredible, incredible woman in person as she continues to bring true Thai cuisine and culture to visitors from all over the world, dish by dish. It is quite a bit later now. A lot has happened and also not a lot. Seeing J5 was so cool. Watching the Netflix documentary and then just seeing it all in person was absolutely amazing. We, however, did not get any food because the people in front of us said that they went at seven in the morning, put their names in, and then they were late. So they were back still waiting in line and it just would have taken probably all day, unfortunately. We didn't get to try her food, but we got to see her and it was super cool. Right now, we are about to meet up with Florence's friend, Xander. We're gonna go visit a sky bar and then Florence is making me go to a lady boy show. <laughs> if any of you guys know me at all, that's probably like the last place <laughs> you would ever find me. And for a treat, not wait. Also, apparently there's no entrance fee, but you have to buy two drinks to like, get in and go and I don't drink. So. I'm gonna have full. <laughs> <laughs> it should be an experience. You're gonna have to carry me back. <laughs> Before we do anything though, we have to return to the motherland to 7-Eleven because I'm out of water. Me do. 
Are you okay with being on YouTube? <laughs> <laughs> it's like I should probably ask. Oh my god. We are at dinner. I just ordered a chicken painting curry, which I'm pretty sure is the curry that made me sick the other day. But this restaurant's a little bit nicer than the last one, so fingers crossed. Florence ordered pad thai. What did you get? Um green curry. Green curry. Yeah. Lovely. This is what I always get at home. Oh wow. <laughs> oh wow. We're at some sky bar in Bangkok. I don't know exactly where we are or how we got up here. Uh, but wow. I don't know if we're allowed in here. We're just kind of walking in with confidence. Guys, we made it. Stop. Why did we get in here? Dressed like this. <laughs> Surprise! <laughs> <laughs>